Have you ever found something so strange that it made you wonder what it was? Well, a farmer just found a strange rock creation that has scientists all over the world stumped. Imagine that you are minding your own business while working your fields when, all of a sudden, your plow hits a strange group of rocks. What are you going to do? We haven't found just another thing. It's even stranger than a locked treasure box. As scientists try to make sense of it all, they are pulling out their hair. Why are experts having such a hard time figuring out what this strange rock formation is? Let's start this interesting video. An Argentine farmer named Juan de Osota discovered an unusual rock formation while releasing his cattle onto the range. The discovery was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for him as he had access to an unheard-of amount of land on which he could graze his cattle. However, his cattle had difficulties staying away from the riverbeds, and Juan fell over an odd protrusion in the ground as he led his horses along the riverbed. The presence of a distinct pattern of organic substances on the rock gave it the appearance of having once been a part of a living organism. Juan was aware that he was unable to keep this information to himself after considering all factors. When they made their second astounding discovery at the crime site, they found a second object that was noticeably larger than the first. They continued to dig deeper into the riverbank, exposing four enormous objects that looked like shells when they were closer up. The researchers initially speculated that the unusual shapes were supposed to represent the bodies of various different animals, but they concluded that these enormous cases could not have belonged to any animal, not only those that are alive today, but also those that lived thousands of years ago. They believed that these fossilized shells belonged to a group of extinct animals that lived in South America approximately 30 million years ago and were enormous in size. Modern-day armadillos and tans share a common ancestor, with tens being massive heavily armored monsters that stood around 5 feet tall, measured 11 feet in length, and weighed more than 2 tons. They had thick bone shells that could be used as weapons, as well as heads and tails that were heavily armored and could also be used as weapons. Their thick shells covered their entire bodies, but they were not enough to keep them safe from larger animals. At the beginning of the Halloween period, roughly 10,000 years ago, the last of the Tan people passed away. Shells of this type had been discovered in South America prior to Juan's discovery, but the discovery of more than one at the same spot was highly exceptional. The finding that there were four of them in the same spot at the same time was the first instance that all four of these animals had been observed in the same place at the same time. One of the researchers, Pablo MSO, is assisting with the site. As they confronted the truth of the resurrection, the majority of the creatures appeared to be headed in the direction of something, almost as if they were a family in the distant past. The researchers hypothesized that these ancient dogs might have been a father and a child traveling together at the time. People have speculated that sexual dimorphism played a role in the formation of these organisms due to the preserved shells being of varied sizes. This led to questions about the potential that sexual dimorphism played a role and whether these animals may have formed a family structure. If this is the case, it will tell us a lot about these mysterious animals and enable us to test some hypotheses that have been coming up over the past few years. Paleontologist Ricardo Bonini Bonini and his team are working to unearth the last remnants of the GPT toy, a family of four dinosaurs. The shells will be transported to the Cap Aconet location of the Institute of Archaeological and Paleontological Investigations of the Pampa Quaternary for inspection and DNA testing. Additional research is expected to reveal more details about their lives, such as their age when they died and the circumstances surrounding their passing. Juana Diosota made an unintentional discovery that has moved the scientific community closer to understanding the Gaiotan. This discovery, along with another key one made nearby, has led to an enhanced understanding of past events. The discovery was summarized by researchers from the University of Nas and Alda San Juan, the University of Nand Al the Rio Negro, and the Museo Paleontological Ideofuglio. Researchers at a dig site in Baudelaire's 
Argentina discovered fossils of a new dinosaur species, Anina prima, the dinosaur, believed to be the oldest ever unearthed with such a large size attribute, could have grown to 33 feet long and weighed 10 tons. The discovery is part of a group called Sorao, meaning lizard foot form, which roamed the earth during the Triassic epoch, approximately 30 million years before the time of Brosaurus and Duplass. Anenta prima shared several features with other dinosaurs, such as feeding on plant materials and moving around on all fours. However, the method by which Anenta prima grew to be so enormous appears to have been separate from that of other dinosaurs. Researchers found that Inenta prima did not progress in an orderly manner over time, but rather through the examination of growth rings present in the animal's bones. The respiratory system of Inenta prima was similar to that of a modern bird, with specialized airbags installed all over its body, allowing it to better control its temperature and access a substantial volume of air that it could breathe. It is believed that Inenta prima reached a size that was at least twice as large as the average size of the herbivorous creatures that lived in its environment, which was comparable to that of the sabana. Because of its huge size, no other dinosaurs were able to pose a threat to it. It is believed that a Triassic ancestor of the current crocodile was its principal adversary. One method that animals, particularly herbivores, adopt to protect themselves from being eaten by larger predators is to grow to a large size. Archaeologists found four skeletons while excavating Ana Prima, with only one belonging to a previously unknown dinosaur, and the other three being fossilized remnants of an extremely related species. The early phases of gigantism in Ana Prima opened the way for the development of sods that could weigh up to 70 tons such as those that thrived in Patagonia more than 100 million years after these occurrences. This is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video.